this is just a really fast video I am gonna embed in that post uh, which I made yesterday I created video about the Congo about the Africa what Central Intelligence Agency CIA British London uh, Germans basically Berlin have used me in Africa for and I hope that if you're from Africa if you're a black person that you get to see this video because I don't know how far I'm gonna make it with all this stuff but I'm passionate about helping you people in Africa and we try to do my best but the thing is that you don't actually need my help all right you just really to get yourself out of all these problems based on my observation based on going through all this for the last 30 years based on what I have observed I'm going to give you my input on what precisely I would do if I was selected as a king of Congo this is the historian and there's a Congo Association of Historians that were all involved in this MK Ultra case. This is not going to happen. Um, but I'm just doing this hypothetically. I'm going to say to you what exactly I would do if I was a black guy. Uh, from Africa. I'm not going to say only from any troubled regions. But if I was a black guy from Africa, what exactly I would do to bail the whole continent out? You know, this is a very, very much worthy video to see. Uh, it is dedicated to people of Africa. I'm not going to go into this issue as black people, whatever, because the first thing I'm going to start, I'm going to continue from this video here where I talk about this racial issue something a little bit but I'm just gonna cut here and I want to go straight to solution and the solution started with exactly what I suggested right here is just people from Africa it's not about the black uh, it is about the white because white is a misconcept that is used by the aliens to associate us in you know to create like a bigger pool out of what is actually really nothing other than Germany Britain Scandinavia Netherlands a portion of Belgium and uh, maybe some appetites in France something like this uh, but that's all there is to it uh, here's what I would do it does break down to the racial issues I told you in video about the Congo, I don't consider myself white. I would be insulted if somebody would consider me as white. It would be insult for me based on the history of my family. And it goes to the World War II era. It's like this. Uh, if I would be a king of Congo, what I would do is, the first thing I would do is, I would open my doors to... It's called ASEAN. Uh, ASEAN. I don't know how you say that, but this is a bunch of countries um, such as um, Thailand, Filipinos, Indonesia, all this, Malaysia, all these little countries that you have um, in that Asian region. Uh, China is not in that association, but I would also open myself to China and, of course, to Japan. Uh, because it's about the racial issues, right? And so, seeing yourself, you, the black people, which you are associated to Asians, and I did indicated this through the video I have created yesterday, you would, I'm not going to say become entitled, but, you know, uh, yeah, you become part of, I think, not you that you become, because you are, but you proclaim yourself in other words you distance yourself from the white you know the white out you know the white out that's used to delete the text the black text from the white out option you don't want to have really nothing to do with that so by selecting that kind of option 
you officially would Disney yourself probably even enough for the uh, Belgian King Leopold to get a hold of you again. Belgian in parenthesis, it was just another German. In fact, he was Kaburg uh, Gotha, Saxe Gotha individual. It's just like those people in London are today. Um, uh, listen, uh, that's one thing you do. And the second thing you do, what I would do is, so you proclaim yourself as Asian. I'm not going to say that you have to proclaim yourself as Asian, but part of, uh, related to the Asian culture, that you are, that you proclaim that you are related to the Asian culture, and you open your doors wide open to the people, as I stated you, and not only technologically, but also like race mixing wise uh that you bring inside technology investments that you start to become productive part uh basically a part of the world which is productive for the world rather than those who have hunted not only you but entire asia as you know india uh, india open yourself to india also was enslaved by the British, the British got on knees entire China through the opium trade and so on. You do stuff like this, your minerals, your valuables, your stuff that you have can be exploited for actually efficient development of Earth. Because the human race is the biggest race in this world, I told you about the human race in a previous video. It goes all the way through Asia, through Africa, through Russia, and it extends all the way to, I am in Slovenia, to Europe, uh, and all the way down through Alaska, all the way goes down, you know, past Japan, through Alaska, it extends all the way down. This is, a, this is all Asian genetic intermixed with some Eastern European uh, genetic, all the way down to Chile, all the way down to Argentina. So, become part of that race means to be productive for that part of the world foremost, because it's like the engine for the free part of the world. You know, here in Eastern Europe, we don't have really... We have a problems going on here, big problems. It's the same history that repeats itself, that have repeated itself again. Now you see what's going on in Ukraine and so on. But, you know, there is a lot to it um, here. Hopefully also is going to happen a lot. Uh, there are countries here that could develop into, for humanity, positive potential. Uh, and with your minerals, with the stuff that is needed in Asia for the car production, for all the kind of production, for what they need is a new market. That's you, basically, where they would want to develop also technology, where they would want to develop universities, where they would want to develop jobs. That's you in Africa. I would do nothing other as a king of Congo to open myself to all investments from Asia, cooperation development of schools, medical facilities, schools foremost, um, irrigation, uh, waterways, channels, uh, redistribution everywhere, therefore um, heavy farming. Um, in, uh, I'm not going to say exactly the same fashion as King Leopold did, but I would do everything possible that money would not go to waste and so that the money would be used immediately to prosper other parts of the country with beginning to assure myself so that there wouldn't be some kind of a turmoil, turmoil going on, importing from myself, literally from Asia, trained Chinese, Thailandese, Japanese, uh, and other whatever whatever I can grab, uh, Indian, um, 
whatever military forces to ensure that there wouldn't be some kind of a dirty play uh, during this development program that I would use to develop the country, which would be further used to train my own uh, military at home, which would strictly have to work. Me, I would do this as a Congolese. If I was a Congolese, if I was born in Congo, that's exactly the way I would do it, you know, and welcome them in a little intermix with them and work with them uh, for not what they say British, well, that's what the British say this is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. This definitely is a potential. However, with the politic that is being used, this is just a potential to become again nothing, really. You know, out of a lot of stuff, uh, these Western powers have proven this so beautiful video, this so excellent documentary that I had pleasure to see these people have proven time and again that humanity was hunted once you become hunted it's just impossible to get out of that circle so you know the best to get out as fast as possible and this isn't about getting out as fast as possible you know out of the trouble it's like they present issues they always do you know, the Central Intelligence Agency, British, they always were concentrated on creating the hateful issues and then offering the solutions, what you would do to get yourself as fast out of something. This is about getting yourself fast out of anything. This is just acknowledging that you are part of something, that you actually are part of the human race. You don't want to get out of embrace of the Asians, of the people that basically feel that are part of you, feel that want to invest in you that so that you can be part of together with this stuff. You understand me what I'm trying to say? This is about the easy solution or easy way out. There's no such thing. There is no easy way out of love. Think about it like this. So I wish you best of luck. I hope you're going to do good decisions in Congo and in Africa on generally that, that you're going to succeed uh, in developing yourself regardless of which way you look, regardless of how you look. Uh, it's only in becoming more important player, more important part in, uh, in humanity. That's all there is. So I really, really wish you best of luck. But that's exactly, as a king of Congo, that's exactly what I would do. That's exactly what I would do. I would stabilize the regions, uh, enforce the law and order uh, through work, uh, through the farming, through the fish harvestry heavily, so that people have a good nutritional background. Uh, start to use this investments I would get to what I would do is I'm going to say I would invest in the areas that already are established when it comes to foreign investments industry and such I would direct it to the areas that already are strong uh, and you may say why and I'm going to say to you so that I would start to form a uh, uh, as much as possible stable portions of the country uh, which would also like police you know police in the Latin it's like a center that would center the country uh, towards uh, the country big big Congo big Congo um, and so you know I would I would try to centralize the country as much as possible but not into a single city or something like this but to distribute this wealth uh, god forbid that you wouldn't listen to me because the only thing i would do is i would economically somewhat isolate you i would tell you just like this that's how i would do uh, and would mercilessly enforce that through taxation to redistribute wealth to as many areas possible and when I say to distribute, that means open schools and universities. 
because without the schools and universities, you cannot power yourself. And as I said, with a well-trained military, uh, with assistance of the people that would even feel more welcome when they would work together uh, with uh, your own military, you wouldn't do you any harm. That's how you do it. You don't want any of this. When it comes to the investments from the West, they're good. They are welcome. They should be welcome. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to use them like, you know, when you have a coffee and you put the cream on it, that's all there is to it. You use them best to your abilities, but you should never, ever rely in absolutely any way on them. That's how you do it. And control the population, and you're going to be all set. Best of luck for you.